Hello, artist. You are here today to join me in making a beautiful garden complete with, you got it? Thank you. A magnifying glass to search for insects in our garden. Now, of course, you could make more than one magnifying glass and then have um, different kinds of insects, or you could just have one with one insect and move it around like that and decide where you want it. So today we have two separate pieces that we're making. I have for you included um, a couple of different bug ideas, simple shaped bugs for you to use for inspiration. I have the magnifying glass shape that you can cut out and use or cut out and trace onto a thicker piece of paper, up to you. We're gonna use construction paper for our actual picture today, but the bugs and the magnifying glass are just printed on plain white copy paper. I also have included for you a sheet of different garden tracers that you could cut out and then use to trace all those different pieces inside of your garden. So um, I have ours cut today on black paper. Um, if you want, when you print these out, because they're kind of a, like not the easiest to trace when they're on copy paper. If you have a piece of cardboard or a thicker piece of paper, you could trace them onto that and cut them out and then trace those onto your paper. But lots that's, of tracing. Lots of tracing. That's kind of a lot of work. So I get that you might not want to do that. Now, of course, you don't need to use this or you don't need to use this if you want to draw it all yourself. By all means, I would love that, go for it. So those two things you should have if you want them. I already cut us a few shapes to use today for me and Willa and Sadie who are making our own garden today. Now, this is what our garden's going to be kind of like when it's done. Not 100% full, cause I've left spaces for the sky, but mostly full. And I'm gonna put that one on the side and I'm gonna move my magnifying glass to the side. Which tracer do you want to start with today? Um, grass. Um, grass? Wonderful grass. idea. Okay, so you're starting with the leaf. I will start with flowers for mine. Now, grass. I'm going to move grass. these magnifying glasses that we already have cut out to the side also. And you can each have your own paper. Grass. The other things you're going to want for this project today, white paper, a pencil with an eraser. The eraser is important today a black marker to outline, and something to color with. We are going to use crayons today because I find that crayons color in a large area very quickly without it looking sloppy. Like you can scribble with crayons and it still looks nice. So, Because we keep, don't want this video to be so long. We don't want it to take too long. You mean you don't have a million years. <laughs> All right, with your tracer. Um, you want to be sure that when you're placing your tracers, and it's okay to overlap your tracers, but that one of these pieces of garden is in the front and one is in the back. So I'm gonna show you if I were to trace my flower, and you know what, I'm gonna do it, this one in Sharpie, because this one's gonna be, but watch out, you wanna do it in pencil. But and you're I'm doing gonna, it in Sharpie. Correct, I'm doing it in Sharpie to show. And I'm gonna tell you why in a minute that I want you to do it in pencil. So I decided that my flower is in front of this leaf, but now I'm going to overlap them. I'm gonna do this one in pencil. I'm gonna do it going off the page a little bit, so I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I already did it. Oh, nice one. Now that leaf is gonna be in front of what you do next, so I'd really suggest that you do pencil, and I'm gonna show you why in a second, because when I do this second one, I've got some overlapping over here, and I don't wanna see both the flower and the leaf on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do now with my eraser is go in and erase everything that is inside the flower so that it's gone, and now my flower is on top of my leaf, okay? That's what I'm looking for. I don't want to see two shapes kind of linked together where I see both of them. If they're overlapping, that's fantastic. I love that. But I don't want to see both shapes. Now I can use my Sharpie to go over the pencil lines that are left. Okay. 
Another cool idea might be to make some of your pieces going off the paper. My leaf is going off the paper. Now I'm gonna take a, actually, did you want this one? No, actually, no? yes. Yes, okay, I'm gonna take the other leaf. And I'm going to... Wait, so the one you want under, should you do before the one you want over, or do the one you want over to be before the one you want under? If you're doing it in pencil, it doesn't really matter. If you're doing it in pencil, you can just go for it and overlap them however you want, and then decide later which ones are on top and which ones are on the bottom. I did this. Excellente. Flower on the bottom, leaf on the top. Love it. Now, because I did my flower and Sharpie already, I don't want to go over and Sharpie this leaf. I'm going to make this leaf going in back of this flower by using my pencil. And there it is in back of that flower. Flowers going under lots of leaves. Take that one. Okay, we're getting somewhere, and I'm going to do some grass now. Love it. I love how your tulip has a stem. That wasn't on the tracer, but that and looks also amazing. For this leaf. I've got some grass going along the bottom. And I just added my own grass on the other side, even though that wasn't a tracer. And I think I'm going to add one more flower. And then I'm going to be done. Now, I have a leaf overlap issue, so I have to decide which one's in the back and which one's in the front. I am happy with my composition. The composition is the way that all the pieces fit together in your picture. I'm happy with my composition now. We've got a garden of nice big pieces. I'm gonna go over all the rest of these pencil lines in Sharpie. I do not like this Sharpie. Now this step with the black marker is optional. If you'd like to maybe go over your outline of your grass with marker in a green or a yellow or a brown even, or not at all, that is your call. But I always like a black outline. So I'm gonna add my black outline. Well, what is this flower here, like a tulip? Well, yeah, like a tulip. My tulip has hands. Love it. Oh, it's so cute. See, look, Willa added leaves and a stem to her tulip. Uh, She's got the grass. I love it. Now you have some overlapping over here. Oh, yeah. What are you going to decide? Which one's in front? Flower. The flower's in front? And tulip. Okay. So the flower and the tulip are in front, which means you have to erase which one? Oh, look, I love this. Now your flower is in front of your tulip. Excellent. What's going on with the grass over here? What do you want? Which and one's the in flower. front? The tulip and the grass are under the flower. Okay, good. So what do you have to erase? This. Yep, that's right. Erase that grass. You want to need that? Okay. <laughs> now, I'm going to add some little designs with the black into my picture. Just a little bit gonna add a center to my flower. I'm going to add a little design to my flower. Just 
just like that. Just a little design on my flower. And I'm going to add those lines that go down the middle of a leaf. And I'm going to add those little triangular leaf lines too. Again, you do not have to do that. You certainly don't have to do that in black. You could wait and do it with marker. You could do it with crayon. I said, again, I'm going to color with crayon today. So you could wait and do all those details in crayon. Or you could leave them out. Your call. Okay. Okay, good. I'll be happy with where I am. One more thing I want to add. Okay. We good? Now, I'm not going to color this in right now. You get the idea of what you're meant to do and how it's supposed to look. And you've already seen me color one in. Or if you've already seen one of mine that's colored in. So I'm not going to color this in right now. I'm going to put this to the side and I'm going to start to work on my magnifying glass and my insect. Looking awesome, girls. Okay. Well, us? That's very plain, but... Yeah. I love. Do you want to add any details? No. No details. No problem. Now, I already have some magnifying glasses for us, not that one, over here, okay. On the piece of paper that I attached, I have one here, that like I said, you can either cut this one out and just use it, no problem, just like that, or you could trace that shape onto another piece of paper and that way yours isn't black and you could color in your magnifying glass however you want. It doesn't have to be black. Um, again, you could always use, I'm using a construction paper today. You could use a thicker paper, which is a little bit sturdier for your magnifying glass. So that is totally your call. How are we doing? I'm almost done. Okay, now. I'm gonna move forward with my insect. I have this in design sheet right here that you could use, or you could make up your own insect, whatever you'd like. I drew on my first one, which uh, has, has, disappeared. has disappeared forevermore. Yes. Um, I drew a ladybug, but today I'm not gonna draw a ladybug. I'm gonna draw a butterfly today. That's what I was gonna do. Oh, well, if you're gonna do that, I'll do something else. If you're gonna do a butterfly, you know, if you're gonna do a butterfly, take this one, because the, the whole okay. of the magnifying glass is bigger. And I'm going to draw a beetle today. I'm going to do um, a ladybug. Okay, good. Should I sharpie it? Totally. You totally can. Or... Oh, lovely, lovely butterfly. Or you could just color it. Again, your choice. I always like to Sharpie. I'm gonna use a skinny one for the bug. You know, it might be cool to make up your own insect. I need one of those. Or to find something else with your magnifying glass inside your garden. Maybe you found a treasure inside your garden. How did you draw that? Well, you start with an oval. Well, I wanna do the ladybug. Ah, so then what shape do you start with? Circle. Circle. Two things on top. That thing, those. I gave my insect some details. There he is. <gasps> what have we got? We've got a ladybug and we've got a butterfly for our garden. But again, like I said, maybe you found something totally different in your garden. 
I would absolutely love to see. I can't wait I'm to glad see. What if you found a snake in your garden? What if you found a snake? Or a bear. <laughs> or a bear. <laughs> or a tiger. Or a tiger. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you know what we have out in our yard all the time? Or a dinosaur. What do we have out in our yard all the time? Cats. Cats. Our neighbor's cats are in our yard all the time. We also have... We, I would put a we, cat we, in my magnifying glass. We named yeah. a squirrel that lives in our backyard. Correct, we named a squirrel that lives in our backyard. Yeah, his tail is um has no fur, so, so we, we named, named him Skinny. Yeah, Skinny the squirrel, he lives <laughs> in our yard. So we could have put Skinny inside our magnifying glass. That would have been another or good idea. Here. Or Fitzy. Or Fitzy the or cat. Mr. Boots. Or Mr. Boots the cat. Anyway, <laughs> I live in the jungle. Um, so, I would love to see your garden colored in, your insect, wherever he or she lives, or your whatever you found in your garden, in your magnifying glass. Cannot wait to see. All right? <laughs> Thank you so much for making this Bye. with us. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.